Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Undead Nightmare, when we last left off, we had just uh, saved another sorry, town. Man. Also, we met our old friend, uh, Mr. Moon. I always forget his first name, actually. Um, I forget. But anyway, he turned out to be a bit of a racist and sexist dickhead, but he's dead now. So, it's all good. Right, anyway, let's go grab the last few item... Uh, Containers or ammo containers here and I suppose that it would be time to move on also upon saving I had the infamous uh, Black screen of death uh, That this game likes to uh, give me Which is frustrating because then you have to reset the whole uh, Game and all that kind of stuff. So it's not really a big deal. I suppose but uh, it's annoying It's annoying that the state that this game is actually in but um I guess it could be worse, you know. It can always be worse, guys. Remember that. Now, let's get some more bullets. Lovely. Repeater ammo is not fantastic, but we'll take it. Now, let's throw another dart on the map and uh, make way. Um, 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 well, I guess, looking at that... I guess we've only got that mission to do there. Let's go. There's actually way more towns in this game than I realised. Now, where's Pesty? Come on, Pesty. Come on, boy. Come on, you stinking horse. Let's go. I'm only calling you stinking because I love you. And it's true. Okay? Never forget the fact that it's true. You are a very diseased, very sickly horse. But you have the strength of a thousand horses. So... You know, swings and roundabouts. But I suppose nobody really bathed back in these days anyway, so, you know, it doesn't really matter. I suppose John probably smells worse than the horse. Now, there's something to think about. A nice big fire there. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. No point in saving anybody, I suppose. You don't really get anything apart from a few bullets. Most of the time, you use more bullets oh he's got a cannon gun hello what a nice gun you have sir use gatlin gun don't mind if I do shame there's nothing to actually use the gatlin gun on but there are zombies there huh? gatlin gun is a lot of fun Uh, oh, a chest. There, you go ahead, buddy. You'll gladly re. What? Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. I didn't realize that was stealing. Oh. Sorry, sir. Now, I feel like quite the douchebag. I guess it is every man for himself. How the hell was I supposed to know that's stealing? The treasure map says we've got to collect it from a camp. A chest... Ah, uh, never mind. Oh well. I'm sorry. I can't believe I just started helping myself to that man's things. Pesty, come here, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. No, no, stop. Stop running away from me. Thank you. We're a team, remember? And you totally didn't see me just murder that man there. He was probably going to give us a cool quest as well. Or at least a cool side mission, which uh, might be lost to time now. We may never know what this gentleman wanted. I mean, he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, it would have been nice. Unencountered towns have been added to our list. Okay. Well, that's cool. But let's go grab a mission anyway. Feels like forever since we've actually done one. In fact, I can't actually remember what we were doing. There's plenty of undead. Alright. What can I help you with exactly? Oh. Help you with uh, zombies. You've got a bit of a zombie problem here, ma'am. You have a large zombie problem here. 
Yeah, I'm helping you, ma'am. I'm helping, I'm helping. Alright, I could be helping better. Oh, they're dead. I can never thank you enough. I guess not. And off she goes. Gives us a few bullets and then buggers off back into the wilderness. Well, I guess we can't help her any further than that. Why would she have ammo when she has no guns? Oh, Roma. We need to kill the Roma. Definitely need to kill that Roma. Well, we shot him in the arse. Yep, yeah, wasn't quite enough. He was going to go after that lady. See, if that lady had any sense whatsoever, she would come with us. Anyway, where's Pesty? Come on, Pesto. This way, my friend. We have adventure ahead of us. A lot of adventure ahead of us. Hang on. That woman was running this way. Sure you don't want to ride? Well, I guess she doesn't. Ah, Fort Mercer. Haven't been here for a decade at least. Hey, someone's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. Howdy. You're gonna be okay. She been bitten. Step Put a right bullet in her now. Right don't be oh, shy now. God, don't be there shy. we go. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. Right. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls. Why, it's a natural miracle, and it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins. That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation? <laughs> you, sir, you look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right mm. now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, <laughs> Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> Take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, okay. But can I <laughs> help it if demand is high? Hi. I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> really? Come here. Take a look. Really? He actually has something that's useful. <clears throat> Find that hard to believe. Um uh, that doesn't look like it works to me. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! 
All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. Okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. Yes. Yes, uh, so quite the repellent then. Interesting. It is interesting. Undead bait. Find five desert sage in Gap Tooth Ridge and five violet snowdrops. Undead bait is a thrown weapon that will lure them to a location. Works well in trying to escape groups of undead or attempting to gather them for more explosive reasons. Ah. Okay. So this place is a complete sanctuary. Sanctuary, I've got ya. I like it. It's nice to have a sanctuary out here, an oasis, if you will. Under bait, he's feeding them bait. Bloody hell! So we need to get him desert sage. Oh my gap tooth ridge. Well, we better go save this place on the way, I suppose. I suppose there's no reason not to. Where's our horse? I guess we could just come out here. I would save the game, but we'll probably get an infinite uh, black screen of doom. And uh, I don't really want to inflict that on this video. Oh, okay, so that the main doors are barred. Right. Hey, does that mean my horse is outside? My poor horse. This place is more of a pain to navigate than anything else. Come on, there we go. Oh well, if that's what this place is, that's what this place is. Really, John? Right, now where's Pesty? There you are. Come here, buddy old, buddy old pal. Right, let's go get us the resources that he wanted. Um... Or we could go liberate this town first, actually, which is probably a better idea. Because once all of these towns are liberated, I'm assuming we get a sweet, succulent achievement. And I like my achievements and trophies. Yes, sir, Bob. I like my achievements and trophies. You know, as I've said in other videos, there's something um, really satisfying about the uh, achievement system. And the trophy system. Um, now, Steam has one as well, but it's nowhere near as satisfying. It's not on the same level. And uh, do you know what? I can't. I, I can't tell you why. For me, it just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't interest me that much. I think it's the UI, you know, and that that uh, very pleasing um, noise, that popping sound that you get when you unlock an achievement or a trophy. I think that's what half of it is. Yeah. Maybe more than half of it. I don't know. Let's go. Anyway, this guy wants us to collect herbs. Before starting... Continuing a survivor mission located here. Alright. Right you up. I didn't realise there was one here, but that's fine. No one's gone mad, John. Maybe we went mad years ago and we just never realised. Right, let's get up here. There we go. Now. Now we have all the power in our hands. You're dead. You're dead. And you, you unfortunate fellow. You are also dead. Oh, hey pal. Like shooting zombies stuck at a crate. Or fish in a barrel, whatever sounds more pleasing, I guess. Alright, it's not bad. Oh, hey guys. Didn't see such uh, a fine bunch of bastards over here. Nice. Happy with that. Is this counting towards our headshot tank zombies in a row challenge? 
that is something that I am going to have a look at. Yes, it does. Okay, so you've got to headshot them in a row. Right, let's be careful with that then. You don't want to miss now. I'd rather spend ages waiting for our dead eye to re recharge than miss. Although luckily that did not miss. Look, these awful creatures used to be your friends and... Oh, I can't actually see his head. So I'm not going to risk it. Oh, hello. Hello, mister. I see your head, though. And yours. Now, 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 now. Calm down. I don't know if we can actually hit them. So I'm not going to try. But you, sir, I can hit your head. There we go. Opened your head up like a pineapple. Can we use our slow down time? I don't want to risk missing these people's heads. Not if I can help it. Yeah, okay, that worked. Ooh. Now we've unlocked the second journal. Sharpshooter. Kill five flaming undead in one dead eye meter. If you need fire bottles, try saving Thieves Landing. We have saved Thieves Landing. Does that mean we can go back there at any point and get fire bottles? Okay. We only get ammo for that. But I'm more interested. I'm more interested in the achievement that that's no doubt attached to. Okay. You know, we could probably start using our handgun. Wow. Wow, there's one or two of them. Really? Really? This is why I didn't want to risk... Oh, actually. Is there... Do we have a f any flaming balls? We don't. Damn it. Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh, shit, John. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, John? You stupid bastard. You've probably killed yourself now, boy. You've definitely killed yourself, John. And it's your own damn fault. Nobody to blame except yourself and possibly me. But mainly yourself, John. Mainly yourself. You're going to have to fight to survive now. Okay. Oh, God. Look at them all. Oh, wow. Get up, John. These folks are none too friendly. Reload, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh, run. Run. It's these bastards that run on the floor. They're the dangerous ones. Everyone else is kind of okay. Right, let's go back towards the town. Otherwise, the town's going to think we've deserted them. Check out this big guy. There we go. Good enough. Alright, guys. Plenty of shotgun ammo for all of you. Hmm. You know... That is a very impressive range on this thing. I do approve. You're done. You're not done. You're done. You're done. You're not done. You're done. You say they're not coming back from that, John. They seem to be quite resilient when you want them to be. Well, when you don't want them to be, I should say. Alright. Now, I think we lost a couple of Zeds down here somewhere. Yeah, we did. Let's use the rolling block. Oh, God, hello. Um... Jesus. She was a little bit bitey now, wasn't she? Was it a she or was it he? Oh, lovely. Pops their melons just right. Alright, well, better than nothing. I bet you are, John. Some things never change, eh, buddy? Once a thief, always a thief. Okay, now... 
I would like to save this before attempting this mission, but uh, as I said, the game will most likely crash, which is not great. Thank you. Yeah, shotgun ammo. We did use a lot of our shotgun ammo, so that was quite nice. All right. So who are you? You okay, mister? Oh, oh, Mr. Marston, well, I might have guessed you wouldn't have got the lurgy yet. Not yet. The lurgy. Trying to help my family. Yeah, quite the hobby of yours, that. Sure. Listen, any idea what the hell's going on here? No. I like the tent on fire That's in the background. Brilliant. Man turned against man. Kind-hearted neighbors turned into savage, flesh-eating monsters. Hit. You're an interesting movie. chap. Who would enjoy that? Um, what kind of you'd be sick surprised. Would like that? My kind sir, the lowest common denominator. <laughs> My people, you're gone, friend. On the contrary, sir, you misunderstand me. Come now, you're a smart fellow. Allow me to illuminate. Um. Listen, Mr. Marston. What I need is one of those nasty buggers that spits poisonous snot on you. What? If in your travels you can find a spare one, we can make moving picture history. You're worse than they are. Each to their own, Mr. Marston. But if you find the time... Well, I guess we better do what the man says. Capture a wretcher from Gap Tooth Ridge and bring it back to McKenna. Um, sure. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Come on, Pesty. We've got a job. Let's go, buddy. Let's go find us a wretcher. I don't even know there was such a thing in the game, but um, all right. Now, Gap Tooth Ridge. We actually have a few little bits and pieces to do up here. Right, you are. We'll head there. Everywhere's under control at the moment, which is good. Because I don't mind liberating these places, but I don't really want to be darting back and forth every 10 seconds to bail them out. Because that is a huge pain in the ass. That's where tedium sets in. But it's okay. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. All we've got to do is go get us some flowers. Go get us a spitting stiff. And that sounds random as hell. A spitting stiff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I guess that works. I guess that's going to be the title for the video. Spitting stiff. Some of the shit we have to do, John. When's it our turn, John? When's it our turn to sit down and be lazy like everybody else? I guess not all uh, not all heroes wear capes, John. This is why we're legends, and everybody else are just uh, NPCs because they don't matter. It does not matter. But John, John matters a lot, and as I control you, John, I guess that means I matter to some degree as well. Come on, come on. At least I like to think so. Spitting stiff. Oh, are you sure you don't bite? I'm not sure if I buy that, to be honest. Come on, easy up there. You right there, fella? Have you got a chest for me to loot? You do. Are you gonna shoot me in the face? Oh, look at it. Uh, 
Uh, mate, you're, um... What, really? You, uh... Oh, don't worry your pretty little head. I, I've got just the thing. That's right, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Uh... That's uh, quite enough from you, sir. I just knew your lips would taste as good as the rest of you, sweetie. Uh, I can't believe you're eating zombies. You're a voyeur. You're Alright, what have we got in here? You're a... Voyeur, you're a thief too. Mate, you are a wrong'un. So you can sit down and shut the fuck up. Do we have the map? Survivalist map. What does that do? Oh, they mark your map if I remember correctly. Plant. I can't remember what they do. To be honest. Hey Pesty, we got a we got a plant over here, buddy. Now, did you have anything on you apart from a load of dead lady bones? Oh, you got revolver ammo. Okay. Saving one for you in your special person way. I don't think she needs to be put out of a misery, though. I just hope you uh, waited until she was dead before you went full creepy. Full creepo creep. Because that would have been just tragic otherwise. Now, come on, Pesty. You can do this. I know. I have faith. I have faith in you. Alright. A lot of people wouldn't have this faith in you that I do. There we go. Told you you could do it, Pesty. What did I tell you? You do anything you put your little horsey heart to. And we have undead dogs that we are definitely not going to play with. Come on, Pesty. Pesty! No, 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 no. Look, I believed in you when you needed it. Alright. I believed in you when you needed it. Now, does it tell us what we need? Uh, two violet snowdrops. Violet snowdrops. Desert sage we need at Gap Tooth Ridge. Now where do we get Ah oh, there we go. Northern part of tall trees. Alright, so let's go try and get Desert Sage. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, let's not... I know you're a tough horse, but let's not try and get you killed. That would be very... Um, counterproductive. Because as much as I do miss sparkles every now and again, I do think back to the wonderful times we had. I kind of prefer you, even though you smell. But it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You didn't decide to be a stinker. That's just how you were made. That looks like... Oh, that's Desert Sage. And we are not helping anybody else. Not unless they're on our immediate way anyway. Wild fever juice. We don't need that. I mean, we'll take it. We might need it eventually. I guess. That's, That's what we what need. That is jump. We need lots of that, my friend. Now, what's next?
Okay. Have we got some more over here? Yep, we have. Nice. That should... That's not what we want. Is it not? Ah, wild fever dew. No. It's not one, Joel, and we don't need it. See, instead of just picking one flower, why don't you pick a whole lot? That's what I would do. I wouldn't be so, uh, so pedantic about the whole thing, where I'd have to find a individual bush and take one choice flower off every one. However, this is what we need. Desert Sage. Wonderbar. Who is making all that noise? Oh, it's you. I'm sorry, sir, but I really don't need to be hearing it right now. There we go. That's better. Now all is right with the world once more. At least for him. For everyone else, it's a living nightmare. Uh. Aha! Yes, it is, John. So, one more Desert Sage. Uh, Pesty, buddy, can you stop running around? Pesty, stop running around like a loony bin. I need you. Alright? This partnership only works when both partners are in on the whole thing. Alright? If only one of us is skulking around, doing the right thing, then it's not really a partnership. Yeah, something like that, buddy. Damn it, we don't need that, but we'll take it. We might need it eventually. Please don't shoot my horse, sir. I'll be very angry at you if you shoot my horse. I know my horse smells. And it looks undead. But still, bloody dogs, honestly. Right, you fucking mutt. You've had it. You have had it. You both had it. You want some of this Fido? There's plenty more where that came from. That's what I thought. That's alright, Pestia. Everything's under control. Don't you worry, pretty little head about it. Right, what do we have here? Revolver ammo, we we'll take it, I guess. Nothing on you. Oh no, you got revolver ammo, that's good. Take a little bit of revolver ammo. And some undead wolf teeth. Well, sure, why not? We've got a pocket full of strange things, John. And I always find it's better when people don't ask questions. Yeah, this video is going to overrun our time budget, I think, a little bit. But I want to get these items. Come on. Right. That's what we want. That is the last one. Nice. Desert Sage. Right, that's all the Desert Sage that you wanted. Now, we just need to find the other one. Where is it? It's in tall trees somewhere. The tall trees ain't that far away. Now, I don't really want to spend hours collecting all these herbs, because there's no real point. Two violet snowdrops. Uh, northern parts. Okay, northern part of tall trees. So... Where? Ah, oh, northern part of... T really? <sighs> that is a pain in the ass. Well, I guess we can go back to here and quick travel. I guess that's probably the best thing to do. Let's go. Come on, Pesty. Let's get out of here. We need to go to uh, a much colder place. 
and find ourselves some more herbs for our fat-headed friend. I say friend, you know. He's not really a friend, he's, he's more of a, a nuisance. Oh, you're, you are eager today, Pesty. Very eager. What's gone into you? Alright. Some children been doing a ritual somewhere? What the hell's going on here? Actually, guys, I am going to save it. And that way we're not going to overrun too long. I thought we was going to be up there for ages saving, uh, picking flowers. But uh, I guess if we can come back here and save it, we might as well do just that. After all, it's a nice town. Come on, John. Don't be silly now. There we go. Beautiful. Right, guys. So, when we come back, we're going to finish off the quest for Mr. Dickens. And pick some more flowers. And that's probably as much fun as it sounds. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you very much. And as always, until next time.